I'm coming into the pharmacy to check whether they have any uh, masks. Nihal, do you have a cigar? What? Cigar, do you have a cigar? No. No? Yes. Oh, okay. So they don't have any masks here. Okay, so no chance to buy. I can try to find somewhere else. Hello guys. This is Busy in Asia. Uh, my name is Sergey, and today I'd like to share with you some updates on the recent situation with novel coronavirus in China. Some of you might know that I live 16 minutes drive away from the Wuhan's quarantine zone so we are quite close to the place where the virus has its source and we have some news and you know the situation is developing very fast everything is changing and people panic more so basically what's changed these days First of all, the quarantine zone is getting closer to us and one of the communities which is in my area, in the area where I live, is put under the quarantine too because recently there, there was one case of infection found there. So that's why the whole community is in quarantine and I'm going to show it to you today. Second, I'm going to show you some empty streets of Nanchan city which is 5 million people population and it's a quite big city and you can see that streets are almost empty there are not so many people first of all because of the panic and second be second because of Chinese New Year happening here third thing I'm gonna show you some measures that Chinese government and other Chinese authorities, the authorities of community management are taken here to prevent the further spread of coronavirus. And actually what I want to tell also about uh, is about the lack of supply of masks in our city and in China in general. You cannot buy masks except a couple of places or you cannot buy proper masks. This mask, this one was brought from Thailand by myself because uh, I knew already that I could not buy anything here in China. Before I start, uh, I'd, last, I'd like to ask you to subscribe for my channel. Uh, first of all, because my channel actually is about doing business in China, what I'm doing uh, now, and about investment different types of investment that everybody can take and i will give step-by-step -step guides how to invest in stocks how to start business from the scratch and also my channel is about life in china because now right now i live in china and other asian countries and because i live in china first and because this is the top th this is the most discussable topic in uh, our local groups in our local circles that's why uh, I'd like to give the up-to-date information about this topic and I'd like to explain what is really going on here in China this is actually a topic about living in China so please subscribe so let's start now first of all about the recent statistics the recent statistics on virus is really impressive. First of all, today there are 9,700 people are already infected around China and actually in around the world. There are so many countries that found cases of novel coronavirus on their territories like Australia, Malaysia, Thailand, Vietnam, South Korea, Japan. Nepal, uh, some European countries like France, Italy, Germany, uh, countries of North America, USA, Canada, uh, and so th there is a global problem now. And just 
uh, today the World Health Organization issued the emergency announcement on this on this situation so now it is emergency situation the coronavirus in China the source of which is China actually and many countries now are blocking the borders with China for example Italy completely blocked the flights from China Russia blocked the land border with China Hong Kong and Macau territory blocked the train connection with mainland China as well as England uh, cut the number of flights and other countries cut the number of flights generally to China some of my friends cannot even take a domestic flight because many of them are cancelled to again uh, this is made in order to prevent the further spread of the virus inside the country and from my point of view the situation now where we have uh, 9700 people are infected uh, the, if we talk about suspected uh, there are 15,200 uh, and 176 people are cured which is little by little approaching the number of people who uh, died already there are 213 so these statistics are really impressive is this changing very rapidly and this is the most this is the most dangerous part of this virus the first and I think I believe it's still not a peak of the virus spread because as I told before in my previous video you can watch it right here uh, right here yeah right here sorry uh, as I told before this is only this first stage of virus spread because there's a lunar new year in China now and all people are back to their hometowns to be united with their families and now the period coming when they're going to go back to the places where they currently live it means that they're going to spread the virus further this is first reason they're going to be back to the places where they live and work and the second reason because according to the latest research on the virus the incubation period is 10 to 14 days what it means if you are infected you can find it I mean you have some problem issues that you can feel like a fever a cough or sore throats only 10 to 14 days after you're infected so I believe there are many people now who don't feel anything any kind of problem with their health they don't feel any change in their body condition they might be affected anyway so there are two reasons why this disease is dangerous in terms of further spread in terms of further expansion of this infection however the disease itself as I believe is not as dangerous because even common flu is more dangerous although it is dangerous for those who already have some preconditions some respiratory problems some cardiovascular system problems or just a problem with immunity system such as older people maybe very young people or people with other disease another thing I want to show you I want to share here is the number of people outside it is the 31st of January and there are not so many people outside because of the panic that is created by mass media and many rumors and many myths actually about the real situation with virus about the real situation with number of people infected
This is financial and business center of Nanchan city. This is the place where the supermarket located, uh, the closest supermarket that has bread usually, but unfortunately today doesn't have any bread. Uh, you can see that actually streets are empty here. Nobody is here. People are full of fear about the virus and they don't want to go out. For, and of course, because of the uh, Lunar Spring Festival or Lunar uh, Calendar New Year. And also even the Starbucks is closed. But it's going to be open on the 2nd of February, which is the day after tomorrow. So I will check it again later. Uh, right now I'm heading to the supermarket, the closest supermarket to my place. Uh, which is located in the financial center of this city uh, where actually all the skyscrapers are located so there are not so many people here everything is locked down today I'm coming in is the, this is the place where I should wear my mask always because there are some people in you see the worker is checking my screen and my temperature is it all right okay Okay. Yeah, thank you. Then I can come in. The, the stock of food is okay everywhere. You can bu buy almost everything. There is no problem with supply. The worst thing that actually you can buy pretty much everything uh, except bread. Uh, you can see that all the bread shelves are empty and all the workers who bake the bread usually they're all off. I believe they're off till the 2nd of February. I hope they're going to uh, start working soon because there is no other source of bread uh, and it's especially tough for foreigners who live in China. This is why I'm here today actually. You see everybody is wearing the mask, everybody is, is trying to protect oneself. Uh, I'm here because of the masks. There is a lack of supply of masks everywhere. You cannot buy masks in, in, in most of the pharmacies you can buy masks online but all suppliers actually are reporting about out of stock so that's where that's why I'm here I'm trying to buy those masks they're not as effective there uh, these masks you can only use effectively for two hours each and I'm going to buy a couple of packs so one pack is 39 yuan which is about uh, seven USD one pack consists uh, three masks. I believe three masks in one pack. Okay, let's buy. Right now I'm uh, nearby the community uh, which was locked on quarantine. This is the community. It was locked on quarantine so nobody is allowed to enter. Nobody is allowed to get off and I'm not sure how it works because I wasn't allowed to enter. I tried. How are they supplied with the food and all the medical stuff I'm not sure uh, but this is community and actually the government's announcement says that the three stations the three subway stations that are the closest ones to this community are also on lockdown so you cannot actually get off the train and get on the train on these three stations of subway this is the community which is very close to my place in the same area, the new area of Nanchan, which was locked down on the quarantine. You cannot enter, uh, you actually cannot get in, you cannot get out and I'm not sure how it works. I'm not sure how they are supplied with food and all this stuff like that with medicines. It was locked down because there was a f one case of uh, novel coronavirus found there so one person was infected i'd like to show you another gate which is on the opposite side of the community which is under the quarantine look at this gate it is on barricade completely blocked completely blocked so you cannot enter it and there is no way to pass through this is community where I live and as 
usually there are four gates you can use to enter the community but today only one is open and you are not allowed to enter any other gate so if you want to enter you have to go through the temperature screen otherwise you cannot enter the community there is no any other way and if there are people uh, some people entering community so the first the first stage you go through uh, temperature screen mm. okay and the second stage actually it's a uh, uh, face recognition so it's checking my face and yeah now it allows me to enter those actions are taken to prevent the further spread of the virus and people who don't live in community are not allowed to enter without the permission and special information provided about those people by the owners and people who rent houses here so for example today our maid was not allowed to enter the community before I came out and provided all information about her about when she entered our city what transportation she used and where did she go uh, in any crowded places I'm already on the parking lot and you know this virus topic is very terrible first of all because of panic around it because of fear that people have and because of death especially but there are some funny things about it and I'm gonna show you one of them I'm actually now entering the elevator area and right here there is a lift panel and you can see this plastic wrap so this is antivirus plastic wrap I guess there is some nanotechnology behind it I don't know how it works but yeah very useful very useful thank you people there was one more thing I'd like to share uh, thank you for your comments in the previous video here thank you very much and there was a great idea from one of the uh, people who watched my video to launch a drone on the quarantine zone and you know I don't have drone myself uh, but my friend one of my friends has has one but he actually is he, he is very scared by the virus problem today he doesn't want to go outside so he rejected my offer to launch the drone I tried to find any other guy who can help me with that and launch a drone to see actually what's going on in the quarantine zone there because I'm really interested about that too thank you for watching this video to know anything else please comment if you heard any kind of uh, other news about the virus you'd like to share with me please uh, comment below so thank you for watching see you I'm busy in Asia goodbye guys